Hi, I am Chandrasekhar Gupta and we are discussing programming concepts. After having taste of pointers, I want to ask you something. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? I think it would be better if I have made it once and if I have applied some operations to it so that it be repeated as many times I wanted it, right? Here, loop comes to our rescue. We all know we have for while and do while loops in programming languages. But what we tend to ignore or what we generally confuse was their control flow. Let's have a look. Let's try to discuss the control flow. This is the body of the for loop. Initially, you will be having a declaration which is similar to i is equal to 0 and you will be having a condition. Any condition, suppose for example, i greater than 3 and you are having modification. Modification doesn't mean that increment or decrement operators. It can even like i can be i into 2 or i can be divided by 2. Any value of modification can be allowed. So, it's not an increment or decrement. You can make any type of modification here and whatever will be executed in the body. Let's try to understand the flow, how it is made so that it will be easy to solve the problems. Consider this. Now, I am having a for loop and I am trying to print some value. I hope you all have seen Avengers, right? Yeah, me too. Now, I am trying to print this value by keeping it inside a for loop. How it is operated? Just try to look at the flowchart. Initially, the declaration will be performed. So, i is equal to 0. Okay, i has been initialized to 0. Then, it is going to the condition. So, the condition is i less than 3. Whether 0 is less than 3? Yes, it is true. The body has to be executed. This will be printed. So, I love you 3000 is printed once. Now, after that, modification has to happen. That is, increment the value of i. So, the i value is now changed to 1 and the control has been shifted to condition. Now, 1 is still less than 3. So, again the body will be executed and one more time it will be printed. After this, the modification has to be repeated and the i value will be changed to 2 and the condition has to be checked again. 2 is still less than 3 and it will be proceed further and one more time it will be printed and the modification happens. Now, the i value tends to become 3. Whether 3 is less than 3, it is false, right? So, it comes outside of the loop and the printing ends. This is how a for loop is executed. You just need to understand the flow chart. Initially, the declaration will be made. Followed by that, it will check the condition and then it will enter the loop. After that, again the modification happens and then it goes to the condition. It never enters the declaration again. So, the declaration is happened only once and the condition will be executed and the body will be executed accordingly. Now, let's take a hypothetical situation where Ash is uh, fighting enemies with the help of his Pikachu. So, while enemies are greater than 0, Pikachu is fighting, okay. Now, we have used a while loop here. While loop is very simple. If the condition is true, it enters the body. If the condition is false, it just comes outside the loop. You just need to understand this thing. If this condition is true, it enters the body or if the condition is false, it comes outside. Suppose, for example, it is having 1, 2, three enemies and whenever this is printed i am trying to kill an enemy initially the value of enemies is three and as it enters the loop it will be printed once and it will be killed the value becomes two it enters the loop again it will be killed and the value becomes one and so on so till the point where the condition is true the statements in the loop will be executed after that it will just come out of the loop now let's try to understand one more simple topic which is do while we have defined whatever is required inside the do and we have written a condition over here so you have taken a decision whatever it takes you will try to prepare till you get a job offer and you are dealing in this way with the help of a do while loop initially the body will be executed so no condition will be checked and whatever is inside the do loop it will be printed so whatever it takes will be printed. After that, it comes out and it will check for the condition. So, the condition is here. Whether I have got a job offer or not. If I got a job offer, then I will stop trying for now. Then, if I have not got it, then I will again go to the body and I will again try harder this time. 